I don't want to throw the baby out with the bathwater here. But you have to be uh, clinical sometimes, and you have to be completely honest and fair. While accepting some facts that are stated, and I will state, the team is just not playing well enough. Now, against Liverpool, you know, stuff can happen. I was going to make a, a review of that game, and I said to myself, no, nah, I was too drab. I was too done after watching. I said, I'm not going to do that. So I didn't do that on the day. Today was Brighton, and I said, I'll watch the game. I'll have a gander and see how this goes, and I'll make a review if I make a review. But the game was just dead from a Spurs point of view. Until the last 15 minutes, it was boring. There was nothing there. And if you didn't know, that is really um, not good. Hey, Narendra the comic here, and I will be slightly ragging on the boys, but not too much. You know, we all go through blips in life. Sometimes you don't want to do things that you need to do. Sometimes you need to do things you don't want to do. I think I said the same thing twice. So the point being, sometimes shit doesn't go your way, even when it should be going your way. But with this game, the shit shouldn't have been going our way because of the way that Spurs played during the game. Like, if we played well and we still lost this game, I'd be like, you know what? We played well. We just didn't get the result. But we didn't play very well. And inherently, we didn't get the result. And we've had struggles, all right? We've had struggles. Kane is injured for potentially two or three weeks. It could have been a lot more. So maybe our season is not over as of yet because I said it about six weeks ago. Maybe that long ago, maybe a month ago. I said that Spurs play in such a specific way where essentially we have pairings in the pitch. Normally there's a first 11. There's maybe five or six players who are integral. It might be a left winger. It might be a player coming off the bench. It might be someone at left back or right back. It might be the keeper. Here we have this unique case where we have pairings throughout the pitch that are crucial to the way we play. And I'm going to be honest, it's pretty basic. The spine of the team is really, really good. And we have a couple of players who are just not up to scratch. And when one of these players who are basically our talismans aren't playing, the team just doesn't function. Those players are Toby and Dyer. They need to play as centre-back together. They need to do it. That's how it needs to be because they seem to have it down when they play together. Now, Dyer wasn't playing today. I don't think he was on the bench either. So maybe there's something wrong with Dyer. Maybe a slight injury. Maybe he's a bit sick, in which case that's not a problem, all right? It's an issue, but it's not a main problem if that is the case because you can't change that. In the middle of the park, Undombele has turned into a bloody beast this season. And when you pair that with Hjolberg, Hjolberg, whatever you want to call him, it's it's incredible the power and pace that they have in that midfield. And together, I would say they might be one of the best centre midfield pairings in the Premier League. Up front, obviously, we have Kane and Son. We need all three of these pairs, along with Lloris, by the way, because people just rag on Lloris. Again, Lloris had a very good game today. He kept us in the game three or four times while it was going on. He makes saves you shouldn't make. But then he also makes silly mistakes once in a while. But I'll take the occasional silly mistake from Hugo Lloris. If it means he's saving world, he's left, right and centre. Okay, so Lloris is all gravy in there. The problem is the right back area where we haven't got a solid right back because we're shifting between Doherty and Aurier. And Aurier apparently has some storming out session. I don't know. I'm not going to feed into rumours which are not confirmed. So Sissoko is playing as right back, right wing back. I know he can play there, but he's good as a covering role. He's not good as a right back. He's good to be shifted to right back if need be during a game. Regulon also not playing as the uh, as the left back in this game. Those areas there, we have an issue with solidity because we don't know who's going to play. This this back three essentially was Rodon, uh, uh, who I don't rate, honestly. I don't think he played well in the Liverpool game. He had one very good interception as the game was going on. But other than that, he played very badly. He looks very uncomfortable on the ball still. Sanchez was fine. I don't think he played poorly by any means, but Mourinho wanted to change it up and he was off at half time. He hooked him. Maybe, maybe Sanchez left as well. Maybe he went back home straight away. He was like, I'm not staying in Brighton. I'm heading back now. I think against the quicker teams, I understand why you'd want Sanchez there because he is definitely the quickest center back we have. But otherwise, Rodon, I'm sorry, should not be playing. He shouldn't be playing. I think the formation of this essentially 5-2-3 or 5-3-2 doesn't work at all. I think it's a terrible formation for the team right now. You need to go with, with essentially a 4-4-2 or a 4-3-3. And we didn't play that against Liverpool. And we got screwed over. 
Kane got injured. So now we're playing without Kane. And Kane playing on his own is almost manageable. Son playing on his own without Kane is almost manageable. But it's not good enough because we don't have the auxiliary players to match that type of tempo, pace, power, precision that those two have in Kane and Son. I think our bench is strong. I think it's the strongest squad we've had in maybe ever. Maybe ever. I've said it. This might be the strongest squad Spurs have ever had. But we are somehow still lacking up front. And I don't know who the right person is to come in there. I don't know who that person is. Maybe we need a a really good attacking mid who can play as a number 10. I don't know. Maybe that's not useful because Kane can basically play as a number 10 and a number 11 and a number 9. He can basically play as number 6 as well sometimes now. So I don't know how to fix this problem here because Son without a, a hold-up man isn't as good as Son with a hold-up man and Kane without Son isn't as good as Kane with Son. So we're in this limbo area where a couple weeks we could be like title could be over in three weeks time. It could be done. In which case, it's done. It's done. I can't blame it. Injuries happen. Shit happens. But today wasn't good enough. And I think it's the fact they're trying to get used to not playing without Kane again because last season we got used to it for a while. The season before or maybe the season before that we got used to it again. But it takes a while to get that system into place where Son can actually go and score the goals. And maybe Lucas can score a few. And Bergwijn, because Bergwijn just didn't play that well today again. He played a better game today than he has in the last couple of weeks, but he just wasn't on point, I don't think. Lucas comes on and doesn't do much. Um, runs into trouble, just like Bergwijn. Son was doing it a little bit today. Then Lamella comes on, and I'm like, game over. Just leave the game now, guys. <laughs> you know how I feel about Eric Lamella. But we're in this phase. I don't know where it's going to go. I don't know where we're going to finish. I don't know where we're going to be in the table in two weeks' time. It could look really bad, and there will be people inevitably if we drop down to, like, 10th place. But we might still only be, like, five points off of the top four after 24, 25 game weeks. People will say, Mourinho's got to go. And it's like, no, you dumb shits. No, don't do that. Give him the time. He deserves the time. Everyone deserves time. The stuff that happened with Frank Lampard is ridiculous. The fact he got gone the way he did. He's still so close to the top four. What is the what is the risk in keeping him for another three weeks, four weeks? Check where he is in three weeks. Oli Gunnar Solskjaer was out of a job six weeks ago. People were calling for his head. They were calling for his head. They were calling for everything. Now it's like they're basically top of the league. They're fighting with City for the title. That's just with keeping with him. So I think we have a tough run of games coming up. We've got Chelsea next. Some games are going to be easier than others. But if we're going to play like this, then they're all going to be pretty damn hard. So um, dust yourselves off. Do what you can. And we'll see what happens next time round. Because today wasn't good enough. It wasn't up to par. It wasn't up to standard. And the only person who seemed to be trying during this game at all going forward was Undombele. And Son, no one else was doing nothing. That's just true. It's just true. Anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this video, it was a bit of a rant, more than a review. It was a bit of a rant. Then please do like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel down there. If you didn't, if you didn't, then Jose is going to come after you, all right? He's going to hook you off just like he hooked off Sanchez, just like he hooked off Aurea. I don't know what's going on here. Some baller moves going on right now in the Spurs dressing room. So, it's going to be a weird period. You don't want that, though. You really don't. So, just subscribe anyway to avoid that. I've been Narendra the Comic. You have been Graham. We'll see you next time. That's tomorrow. If you don't know, make a video every single day. You've been doing it every day for over two years now. We ain't stopping till we get 10,000 subscribers. So, do subscribe. Pop back again tomorrow for some more quality, shitty content. Because the hashtag never not here. Never not here. Never not here, just how it goes. Also, bring in the bequas every single day because that's also something we do. We do a lot. We also do a little. We kind of do a lot. But <laughs> see you tomorrow. More bequas then because, oh, wow, that's three times. It's just what we do. See you tomorrow. Skadoosh.